Alright, what is up you beautiful people and welcome back to the Triple Aura Brawl plus the Haka. We're joined here by Bob's Guns today. Uh, we're playing some Kerrigan. Uh, let's run it boys. I'm not quite sure how we're going to run this, but I think I'm going to run some Zerglings here. Zerglings are quite effective against uh, the Haka early on, so let's just run it here. Uh, so Brawl Modifiers, we have uh, Dahaka Hero Power, I mean, not Hero Power, Dahaka Hero, and also Triple Aura, so I'm hoping we get something good. Oh, that's blood, I have to take it. I didn't get a blood a second time, but we can get, get some Force, actually. I don't think I need some, I don't think I need Attack Speed, I need Force much more than anything. Got some Shredding Claws here, oh yeah, those Zerglings are going, they're going. They just tore those, they just tore those Fire Bats apart. Their blood is going to help keep them alive for a long, long time. And unfortunately, I didn't get another set of blood. This Zergling here is still chilling here. What is he doing? I guess he's glitched out. Now the question is, do I go for fire? Hmm. I think the answer is maybe not. I've been really, I've been wanting to play some more, but man, the brawl's just been real D tier lately, and Target is killing me. You know what? I feel ya. You know, as as the Marine would say, I feel ya, boys. I feel ya. Honestly. Honestly, I feel ya. I think we're gonna go for life here, boys. Um, I don't really need my Hydralis to do plus two damage. What I really need them to do is stay alive a little bit longer. Um, let's see. Because these guys have... Oh, he's got fire and twice the life. But uh, I got news for you. My Zerglings don't care, boys. They're gonna tear right through. I think because like their shredding claws can help them tear right through, and their extra health is going to keep them alive for even longer here. So it's basically just like can Rainer's fire bats hold off the swarm of units here, and can my somehow I am not lagging, but things are not looking good. Anyways, <laughs> on my on the uh, on the on the lag portion, but I guess it's not me. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, against Rainer, I'm probably just going to run a bunch of a uh, bunch of hydralisk, and uh, we're just going to have to. Uh, we're just gonna have to, uh, you know, just just ru just run it, boys. We're just gonna run it. So the Hydros are gonna have like uh, 110 health, and they're gonna have 20 extra health thanks to uh, Ancillary Carapace here. But let's get the Frenzy. Everything else is alive without Frenzy. I have Force too, so my Zerkin is gonna run in there a lot faster um, than usual. Than usual. We got the Primal Regeneration here, but we got Stukov here with 80 health on these bad boys. So he's got extra health and some armor. Maybe he has Ice and then like some cooldown reduction or something. I don't know. All I know is that uh, we gotta get our Hydralisk in here. We they cannot hold, boys. They cannot hold. Oh my God! Speaking of, we cannot hold. So I went bouldering with a few buddies the on uh, the other day, the other day, and while I was up on a wall doing a pretty hard one, I just thought of a, an extreme meme. It was a it was a Starcraft meme, which is why I'm saying it right now. I was like, oh my God! I can't hold on to this wall, and then I was just like, I just hear the Starcraft two zealot say. We cannot hold! And I'm like, ah! <laughs> oh man. That was such a bad meme that my buddy, my buddy is like, he also plays a lot of StarCraft, so I was like, yo, I got a meme for you. Up on the wall, this, this clairvoyance just struck me. We cannot hold. <laughs> ah! It was so bad! <laughs> I love it though. Um, anyways, my hat is gonna be shredding that Nexus here. Just even one blood and some extra life is already so good. Just imagine the beauty of two blood. It's like chef's kiss. Mm. But also the extra life is so powerful. I feel like Tia probably like modified uh, the occurrence of blood to be a lot rarer after seeing uh, what more than one blood can do. I think I think two blood is okay, but once you start hitting three blood, it's like, ooh, that's a yikers. That's pretty tough to get rid of. I think Rainer should have just kept slamming fire bats, honestly. Like, uh, Marines were not going to help this situation. Just slam fire bats and pray. Um, did Bob's guns have cooldown reduction? Or Yeah, he did. There we go. And then... Oh, man. Look at that beauty. Oh, he has double the... Uh-huh. Okay. Let's go on to round two. All right. Let's rock, boys. Um, I don't know what we're going to be... We're going to be running for the aura. But uh, hopefully... It's a good one, boys. Um, I'm gonna open with the Zergling opener again, because I think the Zergling opener is actually pretty potent against the Haka, because Kerrigan Zerglings do extra attack damage, and uh, their little hop is pretty is pretty good. I like Kerrigan Zerglings because of that, and well, I guess that also makes them quite expensive. Ice! Ice could be quite good, but I could go Force. 
I could go Force. I think I'm going to pick Ice, though, because Ice is generally better. Um, there we go. I'm going to get some healing. I'm going to get some of that. The Shredding Claws. I'm going to get Ice. Uh, I guess I'm going to get Ice a second time. I don't know. Ice, Ice, baby. We're going to go Shadow? I guess that's what it is. <laughs> Double Ice and Shadow. I mean... Not too bad overall. So we got some photon cannons here. We got some legionaries here. Oh, it's the same. Wait, 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 wait. These are. There's two phoenixes on that team. All right then. Oh, let's see. Ice, ice, shadow. Oh, oh, there's blood. Does this guy have multiple ices? Oh, he has two ices in a water. Ah, that's okay. We got some. We got. We got. We got some pretty durable units here. We got plus two armor and then like some shadow. So. Actually, it's going to be pretty good if we get Ultralisk, because our Ultralisk are going to attack faster, have two more armor, which is going to put them at, like, I think nine armor. Um, so safe to say that's pretty good. Uh, I want those Adrenal Glands, too. I don't know what I'm up against here. Uh, techno, Techno, Techno Mark? I don't know what he's playing as, but I think I might have to give a little scan. Otherwise, uh, you know, we're going to have to, uh, I don't know. There's no other way for me to figure out what it is. I'm gonna eat that, eat that boy over there. I think we're just gonna get that. Where's that that cannon? Man, that's fast. All right. Oh, oh, are they all Phoenix? They're all Phoenix. All Phoenix. Oh, what do I do against that? Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna go Ultralisk, boys. Oh, screw it, boys. I'm gonna go Ultralisk. Tall Darn is is not real. <laughs> yup. <laughs> All three of them are Phoenix boys. Uh, you can tell by the photon cannons. And also, I scanned the first guy. Lamal, I scanned the first guy, boys. Sometimes they don't put anything out, you just gotta figure out what it is, right? I mean, Phoenix in his Praetor suit, you know, he knows the move every great warrior does when he throws down with the best of them. That is called the spin. You know? Uh, the spin is always the most potent move. Every video game character who can spin, instantly god tier. You know, no lie. Only facts. Um, anyways, let's, uh, slam some- Oh, I forgot I have the skin on these bad boys. Ultralisk Zergling is an immaculate combo. It is a- it is a beautiful combo. I think because Ultralisk have extra range. Uh, they have range 1, so they- they actually, uh, can attack when a Zergling is attacking at the same time, so. Ooh. Chef's kiss. Let me get a second one. Gimme, 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 give gimme. Give give there we go. Give me another Torask. There we go. I'm gonna send that over there. Send that over there. I'm gonna get that chitinous plating running. Once we get that chitinous plating, it's gonna get that plus two armor. Oh man. We're gonna be so thick. Although legionaries are still gonna be kinda dangerous to us, but I need I need to get the burrow charge and I get I need to get the heal. Once I start healing with my auto attacks, oh, I'm not even gonna bother with air units, boys. I'm not even bother with air units. Air units aren't a thing. They don't exist. I mean, this increased attack speed is gonna be pretty good. There we go. There's probably a more optimal build here, but you know what? Nah. Nah. Yeah. Look at that heal. Heal up there, boys. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? 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 Uh huh? Y'all see that? All right. Anyways. Um, I'm gonna send that creep forward here. I think I'll, I'll just send in some more Ultralisk. I'm just gonna send in more Ultralisk, boys. Get in there, boys. Send in some Lings here. Put them in the gaps. Put them in the gaps. Although, uh, we'll probably have to use Mutalisk, I think, if we're gonna have to deal with, uh, carriers. Uh, there we go. We got some, we got some Immortals coming out here. He's got two armor and some range, but good thing Immortals are bad against my Zerglings. The only problem is I have like two of them, so I'll probably have to buy some more. <laughs> I'll probably have to buy some more Zerglings. Immortals also are not going to be able to do anything against uh, Bob's Guns' Blood Stalkers. Uh... Oh! Black Hole! Oh, if only my Ultralisk got in on that Black Hole, that would have been crazy. Anyways, they're going to they're gonna come in here and cleave anyways. Cleave their way through. Well, a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to probably fill up my Zerglings. I need my Zergling formation to be full. I think when I play co-op on Kerrigan, I literally just spam nothing but Zerglings and Ultralisk. It's like, it's, 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 it's so good. I go like, I go like, 
I think the last time I played Garrickin was like when I was actually like decent at microing and like macroing really hard. And so I think I macroed like four hatch or something. I would just say forget about queens. Macro four hatch. And then uh <laughs> make zerglings out of all of them. And then just run it down. Um is that an optimal strategy? Hell nah. Is it fun? Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we got we got Phoenix here in, in uh, his dragoon form. Uh oh, I lost vision there. Well, I'll just wait for the next wave. There we go. We ate that. There we go. The Haka. What do you got? You got some chitinous plating here. There we go. We're gonna cleave, 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 cleave. There we go. Phoenix gonna get cleaved down here by the Sam grenade. There we go. I'm gonna put down one of these here. Ultralists are just gonna cleave their way through these immortals, regardless of the fact that they are supposedly getting hard countered. Uh, but then again, I have like an Ultralist for every Immortal, so that's not really... I got 6 armor on these bad boys right now. I could level it up 6... I could Yeah, I could get 9 armor, boys. 9 armor Ultralisk. Let's go. Let's get another one of these bad boys. Get some more Ultras. Boom. Boom. Who needs Kerrigan anyways, boys? Who needs Kerrigan anyways? Although, I don't know if... Uh, do my Raptorlings benefit from the attack speed? Yeah, they do. They do. They kind of... They benefit when they're on creep even more, though. Uh, so that that would be good. I need to spread my creep a little bit further. And when I'm on creep play, my units attack so much faster as well. It's like how much 10% attack speed. Man, off creep feels bad. Feels bad, man. Anyways, those immortals are feels bad, man. We're gonna cleave these zealots, maybe. Oh wait, no. Phoenix is cleaving all of my. Uh, Phoenix just one shots. Oh my god, there it is again. That like backflipping ultralisk here. Uh. Unfortunately, Ultras is not able to, like, cleave through this thing, the enemy Dahaka, fast enough. Um, well, unfortunate. I should probably get some backline, you know, like a, a Hydralisk or something, you know? Like that, that would that would probably be advisable, you know? But, like, but, like, but, like, Ultralisk. <laughs> but, like, Ultralisk. All right, but I think I think I'm gonna I'm gonna have to acquiesce at some point. If they cross the middle line, then I'll have to acquiesce. We'll see. Um, I'm just trying to uh, just trying to you know run it down, be a little big meme, big meme hour here. Haldal's gonna get cleaved. We're just gonna oh okay, all those links are gonna get cleaved here. Okay, immortals hopefully gonna get cleaved here. Ultralisk here, just gonna surround these immortals and just cleave through them. But uh. Oh god, Phoenix in Dragoon form is kind of pretty durable, huh? Kind of is pretty durable. Okay, well, we're going to put that one more Ultralisk, and then we're going to ask... We're going to acquiesce to the demands of, uh... Demands of reality, boys. Um, so there we go. Put that down over there. And you already know what time it is. It's Hydralisk time. Uh, it's Deep V Hydralisk time. And by Deep V Hydralisk time, I mean I have zero minerals, so we're going to get two of them. Um, that's okay. Because we'll get three of them. Three of them should uh, do something. Uh, they should do something. They should do something. Force would have been really helpful here, actually. Um, force on your Hydras is actually really good. Well, let's see. Bob's Guns is uh, Stalkers here just holding down the line as uh, nicely as they can. There we go. We've got some Hydras coming in. Those Hydras are going to start melting start melting units here. And there we go. Like, these Ultras just keep rolling around when they die. Uh, anyways... We just devoured that side. Hydra's still chilling. Unsurprising. Hydra's with the stim here. They're gonna be shooting quite fast. Not as fast as a stim pack brawl, but you know, the stim pack brawl is pretty insane. Ultralis still alive. Chuck here up for a game. Probably another one. I have time for another one. Uh, we'll see here because I do be gotta be teaching tomorrow, boys. There we go. So I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna drop the Yi. Alright, I'm gonna put down one of these. Spread that creep tumor here. Send that in. <clears throat> there we go. Cannonball getting knocked over here. Whoa! Wah! Huh? Y'all see that? What the? Okay, anyways. We got some more weapons here. Give me those weapons. Okay. All the Zerglings are getting smack oh that's a black hole that is bad there's an ultralist here cleaving that black hole here oh my god um 
My Hydralis here is busily trying to like cut through Phoenix. Phoenix is just a little too thick here. Does this guy have blood? He, he do feel like he'd be healing. Uh, oh, we got our Void Rays coming in. Void Rays, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised there's no Corsairs yet because there's so many Immortals. Uh, uh, man, but honestly, it feels good to be able to build that many Immortals. Look at that, that was beautiful. Uh, nice, let me know when you're good to go. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. There we go, boys. Um, let's get that full maxed up armor. Although the maxed up armor doesn't really matter against the Immortals. I guess it, it, I guess it's important against the Adepts and the Legionaries, but against the Immortals, it's like... Eh. Anyways, we're at 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two is pretty good. I'm going to get some more healing here, actually. Let's get it. 41 damage. 8 armor. 8 armor Ultralis. Let's go. It's important you spread your Hydros on the side, because the Haka's going to roast them. You don't want to get roasted, you know? Hydralis aren't really, you know, they're not they're not good at they're not good at comedy bars because they can't handle being roasted. So you gotta put them on the sides, you know. Um, there we go. Oof. Okay, okay. I think we need some more hydras. We gonna need some more hydras. Although we're fighting Phoenix on the ground, so actually that's his that's his a strong element. We should have taken the fight to the air, such as with Broodlords or um, Brood Mutilus. You know, really make him divide up the resources. But uh, that is uh, that is just a few too many immortals, I think, for us to handle. Uh, even though uh, my units are quite powerful, that is maybe just a little bit too many immortals. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm gonna I'm gonna spread the creep here to my formation here, so it's a little bit bigger, so my formation has more creep to work with. Uh, oh man, all those lings here just got roasted. I need, I need a second line of lings that'll actually make it that'll actually connect. Um, there we go. There we go. Come on, destroy all those Taldarns, please. There we go. Oh, come on, Hydralisk, you're the backbone of my DPS. Oh man, Kaldal's gonna make quick work of them. Uh, oh, Corsair's coming in without the uh, without the things, without their their Corsair beams or disruption webs, I should say. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna slam down some more lings in the back. Actually, I don't know if I want to slam the lings like this. I think I want to slam them more like this. I feel like this is probably better. Like that, that, like that. And then like, boom, 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 boom. Like that. Because I'd rather them, I'd rather have them run in than run in through the center. Because if they run in through the center, they're actually kind of a, a little bit useless. Uh, there we go. Running in through the sides is a little bit more useful. Because uh, they'll, there'll just be a larger trickle of lings coming in through the side. You know, that way. I'm gonna get my armor up here, and then I'll probably get some more Ultralisk. I could actually get some Lurkers. I forgot. I, I like always forget those units exist, but Lurkers are always good in theory, and uh, in practice they're not that great. If Lurkers auto attacks slowed your opponents, I think they'd actually be insanely good. Um, but uh, unfortunately, they don't. Anyways, the the slow trickle of Zerglings coming in here was just too much for the Immortals, and uh, also like the units here existing. Oh, there we go, boys. We just ran them over. I'm gonna drop a GG on that one. A little bit of a, a little bit of a classic style swarm overrun here. A lot of damage coming out here from just everybody in general. Uh, although Bob's gun's taking so many hits, I almost took more hits than Bob's guns. We got a little decent mineral value killed, but Tyke is here killing even more. I'm surprised there were no Colossi. There was like not a single Colossi witnessed here. Nobody went for Warbringer. I'm so shocked by that. Everybody went Immortals. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this game, these two carrying games extra thick ultras be sure to leave a like and until next time i will see you guys later the tires let's light some fires Need a light. they picked the wrong place